Hi, Taurus. I'm an energy worker and I'm here today with a 10 day forecast. So this will be a 10 day forecast. It will be a general reading. It will not resonate with everyone. It may only fit with a few of you. Okay, Taurus, let's get right into this reading and see what energies are here for you. Taurus, Taurus energy, general reading for the month or for the next um, 10 days. All right, for the next 10 days. Taurus, we see you in this reading. We see you at the bottom of the reading and overarching energy. So for me, this, this tells me, Taurus, that you are really in, in command of your future. All right. Even though as you start off this time period in the next 10 days or so, you are feeling a real sense of, um, there's change coming in for you. There is worry here. Um, there is protection of something, maybe protecting your heart, maybe protecting what you believe in, um, or somebody could be protecting their heart or what they believe in. Um, and there's a choice here. So there's some uncomfortable energies as we start this next 10 days. But as we go into this period, you're going to feel more and more stable on your feet. All right. There's truth coming in. Um, you are taking action and you are moving forward and, and you really are taking, um, rising up in, into your, into a real sense of self here and being innately, um, you using your own innate qualities as a Taurus energy to, um, really start to, impact your world in a new and really profound way. All right. So in the next 10 days, we have a lot of action. We have a lot of activities taking place here. There's a lot of action here. You start off the 10 day period um, in a place uh, you're, you're single. You are able to make your own decisions. You have found a sense of financial stability for yourself in one way or another. Um, it kind of depends on how you were before. Whatever has happened now or wh wherever you are now, you're feeling a sense of, of financial stability um, from where you were before. So there is some kind of improvement here for you in one way or another. Now, there has been an energy of, of shocking truth that has come into your world. Um, it could be an energy of of abruptness or surprise or some quick action uh, that is taking place that could have been um, a conflict or there could have been some kind of a conflict here or an argument here and somebody basically is defending or, or putting up walls or, or putting up a, a gate or a fence or something protecting their heart or protecting information of some kind um, protecting what they feel like they might be advocating for themselves or they might be feeling like they have to defend themselves um, continually. There is a sense here of conflict and defensive action or defending oneself or, or advocating for oneself. Whatever this conflict was, it has caused sleepless nights for you. It has caused worry. It has caused anxiety. There is some kind of a loss here, right? I think um, there is a part of you here that would like to come forward with, with some kind of a truth, with some kind of a love offer, or some kind of an apology or something. Um, I'm not sure. Maybe the, there is a, a masculine here who was involved in this, who is looking to come forward with some kind of an apology or something. Um, but it looks like, Taurus, that you are starting to really look at what your options are. And it looks like you could have two options. You could have an option of staying with this person or staying with this situation or, or working this out with them. Or you have the option of taking a new road, taking a new path, doing something that you haven't done before or starting a new relationship. Um, whatever this is, it looks like um, you're, you're in a period of deciding really how to move forward now. It looks like there was something that kind of came apart here. And there is a willingness. There is still love here. Um, there could be love here from both of you. Um, but, but this is really, um, a situation that might not be really up to you or it might be up to you. It depends on what your situation is, but there's definitely here, um, a choice to make a choice between the same and fixing or a choice between something new, something new and different. Whatever this was with the Knight of Swords that came in, it totally changed the situation. There's some conflict here that totally changed the situation. All right. It brought in a complete change. Nevertheless, um, Taurus, 
you really are getting back on your feet again and moving forward in some way. There could be communications coming in. There could be communications of passion, of desire coming in. There could be communications of love coming in. It's a good energy. So you end this 10 day period in a, in a good way, Taurus. You, you've decided to, to move forward on something, whether it's a new path or whether it's the same um, situation that you want to really fix and work on. Doesn't matter. You've really moved forward. You, you have get, gotten some kind of communication in some kind of communication or activity that makes you feel really good about yourself, really good about your situation. It gives you the motivation. It gives you the strength. It gives you the courage to move forward into something. You could be moving forward towards an empress, or you could be an empress who is being approached by the king of pentacles, or you could be um, being approached by an empress. It, it just all depends on what your situation is. But nevertheless, there is a new feeling of empowerment here. Um, there's a new feeling of, of um, positivity and of taking on a new challenge and you're moving forward into that. Let's look deeper into some of these energies now because it's a little vague to me. Um, there's some clarity here, but when it comes to the end here, it's a little vague. So let's see if we can get more information here. Why do we have the Eight of Wands spirit? Why is the Eight of Wands here? Why is the Eight of Wands here, please? Ten of Pentacles. So there is a new situation here coming in for you, Taurus. Um, that is has a potential here for a long-term relationship, one that is safe and secure, trustworthy, faithful, financially um, uh, financially uh, secure, financially abundant even. There could be property, there could be family, and this could have to do with marriage. So, you know, th again, this is the, the Taurus energy, the Hierophant energy. It could be you, the Hierophant, you, the Taurus, that has this to offer, or you could be being approached with someone, um, by someone, um, Taurus, who is offering um, something so profound and so beautiful and so big for you um, that it's almost like a dream come true with the Ten of Pentacles and the Higher Font. So, so there's there's some connection here with the Ten of Pentacles and the Higher Font, Taurus. There really is. Let me see here. What what else is coming in? Could be. Um, some kind of messages from family could be messages from um, your hometown. Queen of Pentacles. Okay, so there we go. King of Pentacles and the Queen of Pentacles. So there's a soulmate here. Um, it could be um, a Capricorn with a Taurus energy um, and, and, a, and a new possible future to really create a, a strong and enduring, um, beautiful relationship between the both of you. So we could have um, Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus with Taurus um, energy. We could have um, the King of Pentacles and the Queen of Pentacles. Um, one of you is offering the other, um, the, the Ten of Pentacles, a long-term abundant relationship and marriage could be. You know, we have these very strong incoming energies and the Six of Wands is often, um, it, it, it kind of leads us to the way of engagement or marriage. So there could be some kind of commitment coming out of this relationship. It's, it's really, you're moving from feeling despair and not knowing what to do to all of a sudden having all this clarity, to having all this action, um, to having really, really good things happen here. Let's look at... Um, what is the Six of Wands? What is the Six of Wands energy? Six of Wands energy. Ace of Rods. There's a new passion and opportunity coming in here that you are taking, that you are engaging in. Okay. A new opportunity that you are somehow participating in. Um, this is um, taking some time to really look at what this means for you. How it would affect your life? How can you engage with it? Seven of Pentacles is really um, looking to see how this could fit into your life. So this is taking a strategic view, Taurus, which is something that you like to do. You like the security. You like to know what the plan is. You like to have things set up. You like to know what's coming down the road. And then we have the Ten of Cups. Wow. 
So whatever this opportunity is, Taurus, whatever you've gone through here in the in the early part of this 10-day period or in the past, that looks like it's really finishing now. There's a new beautiful opportunity that's coming in here with the Ten of Cups. It's going to bring emotional fulfillment. It is what you've been asking for. It is super exciting. It's going to make you feel young again, useful, full of ideas, full of passion, um, full of inspiration. It's going to light up your world and it's moving forward into your reality very, very soon very soon. It's very exciting. Let's look here at, let's look at this fool energy. Let's look at the fool energy. Why is the fool energy here? Yeah, I mean, really, you you have, you are war-torn. You are um, a wounded warrior. Something that happened here really affected your, 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 your emotional being, right? And now you're standing saying, well, do I really have the energy? Do I really have the capacity? Do I really want to engage in this, this old karmic situation that so far has been worrisome. It's been troublesome. It hasn't felt quite right. It has left me with a broken heart. Do I really want to engage with that? Or do I want to try something new and different? What do I want to do? This is creating our own realities here. And it will be different for every one of you. Or do I want to create something different? Right? Do I want to, do I want to have wish fulfillment? Right? Exactly what I was saying. So this is a decision to be made because it looks like there's some kind of a new offer being brought in or a new situation being brought in. It could even be a job. It could be an occupation or a career. But I think for most of you, this is a romance or some kind of a relationship. Let's look at the Empress energy. Why is the Empress here? Ace of Swords. She's the one, right? She's the one. There's been a decision made. Somebody has made a decision. Somebody has made a decision to start something here. They've made a decision to start something. And there, there is going to be some kind of confession or some kind of information that's coming out that you don't know of, Taurus, that will um, come to light here and, and shine a light on whatever is brewing here. You might feel it or you might not. You might be feeling this brewing up of this interesting little scenario that's going to come towards you. Um, there is somebody who has made a decision and does plan to communicate that to you about starting something new. And it is something that you don't know really about at this point in time because the moon card is here. And let's look at the final judgment before we go. Why is the final judgment here, Spirit? You're fully able to engage with this. There's nothing holding you back. You, you might be feeling a little bit wary of this situation. You've just been through something difficult. You might be feeling a little wary. You, you, you're, it's going to be a little bit hard for you to re-engage now um, because you've just been through something difficult. Um, and so you're going to be a little slow on the uptake. You're going to be a little guarded. Um, you've just walked away from something or somebody has walked away from you that left you quite empty. And um, you're not quite sure if you're ready for this or not. Um, you've been through something difficult and you're looking at this situation um, just not quite sure about it. But again, this is a final judgment. So there is a second chance now. Um, there is an, another try for you. There is another um, portal for you to, to move through that could um, connect you with this beautiful um, relationship. See, these are all worry cards. These are all um, feeling threatened or, or feeling... Um, nervous, feeling watchful. That's how this is going to come in for you. It's going to be a slightly nervous, um, but, but soon you will see that there are some very, um, quality, there are some very tangible qualities that are, that are with this King of Pentacles or with the person who's offering this that really seem to suit you. And you start to see this in a different way. And then you're able to really step through these more uncomfortable feelings and move towards the Six of Wands and movement forward into the future. 
So that's pretty exciting. I will see you back on YouTube. All right, thank you very much, Taurus.